Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to uh, Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today um, in the UK, in England, in the Midlands, it's a beautiful day again, lovely and sunny. Uh, another reason why I've decided to uh, do a video outside today apart from just a little bit windy but um, it's 18 degrees so um, that's uh, that's nice um, definitely better than last week anyway weather wise um, so if you could please subscribe to my channel it's free to subscribe um, it's the red and white subscription button also cl click the notification bell I upload at least most weeks um, both from a travel and lifestyle channel uh, five times a week also on my travel channel you can uh, click uh, the join button it's the red and white button next to um, the subscribe button and membership start from just 99 pence a month um, so um, you're welcome to join um, and subscribe so um, let's jump right into it today i'm going to be doing a travel news uk five amazing facts so i'm going to fire away with um get sorry dot co dot uk slash news um how far can i travel after march the 29th um uh, latest covid rules as stay local is lifted um, contravirus restrictions in England have been updated uh, meaning that you can now meet others outside for socializing and activities yes outdoor swimming tennis football etc instead of stay at home order it has been replaced with a stay local but um, you are no longer the legally obliged to stay in your own town or village um, without good reason for travel however this uh, does not mean that people are completely free the government um, is asking people to uh, continue to minimize the number of journeys that uh, they make and continue to work from home if possible therefore uh, while long distance travel is not um, within the UK it will not be encouraged um, at this moment it is uh, legal um, for long distance tra travel providing rules such as overnight stays are not broken uh, you can uh, travel further afield for a walk or a picnic um, to meet someone outside for coffee or indulge in some different outdoor activities as up to six people are able to meet outdoors or two groups of any size from two households so that's really good news and uh, number two and um, express uh, .co.uk holidays uh, huge hopes for overseas travel to restart in weeks after a big hint from number 10 however experts um, have revealed um, its optimism that the government will stick to May the 17th roadmap date holidays might well be back on in a couple of months on May the 17th as um, the list date uh, that international travel for holidays can resume however there has been some fears Britons may have to wait longer number three uh, Wales online uh, foreign holidays update as airlines beg for easing of Covid overseas travel rules hopefully as soon as possible just say uh, and as safely as possible of course um, inews.co.uk travel traffic light system health 
inews.co.uk says foreign uh, travel traffic light system how far at TIA UK COVID restrictions uh, could allow over overseas holidays in the summer 2021 um, obviously from say red being the highest to say green um, so red being like no go or uh, green means no restrictions when you come back into the country so um, we'll just have to say in if anything like that happens um hopefully it does um and uh, last but not least uh, chronicle live france uh, could be added to the uk ban list due to the surge in covid19 so that could probably again go onto the red list um but we'll just have to see so um again in my opinion i wouldn't book anything abroad yet uh, for the summer because i personally think it's too, too um early yet to, to tell what the situation is um and um well I would like to wish um, everybody um, as good day as possible or has had a good day as possible and the best of luck. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a lifestyle video um, with some boots products that I've uh, tried and tested. Uh, so um, I would like to say bye for now and um, on my travel channel I'll see you Thursday with the latest uh, travel news um, worldwide um, part one um, April 2021 so bye for now thank you bye